Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gold Gutters. My name is John Restino, sitting with my co-host, John Fidel. I'm old, John. How are we doing tonight? All right. Much better than the other night. The snow was yeah. flying around. Much, much better. Um, well, we're going to get ready for a weekend of a uh, lot going on, John. Yeah, a lot, a lot of sports, sports going yeah. on this weekend, so... <laughs> And of course, we'll see where how it goes. I guess. Yeah, no, we got we got a good guest coming up here in a minute. Robin is here, of course. She's doing what she does. Wade, doing well, what I'm he doing does, well. of course, keeping us on the air mm -hmm. until we get thrown out. Yep. Whatever happens. Um, John, I, before we get into our guest and all that stuff, um, I want to bring up something real fast. Sure. Because we're going to be talking NFL draft here, and I, and I'll bring him in in a second. Um, name the goalie for the Sabers tonight. Uka Pekka Lukanen. <laughs> Uka Pekka Lukanen. Lukanen. Yeah. Gesundheit. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, it is an exciting night. And I, I was I was joking before. But when you get a goal, you, you never know. You might yeah. be looking at the next uh, Dominic Kasich yeah. or Ryan Miller. That's what they... You got to hope. They've been saying that, so... So this could be a huge mm. night yeah. for Sabres fans everywhere. So enjoy it. You should probably be watching oh, if you yeah. are a Sabres fan. I'll be watching just because I'm curious because i got to see what the Leafs are going to have to deal with. Because you're going to have to deal with them for about 10 years. Yeah. Starting next year. Next to Karask? Yeah. Oh, God. That's what God. they're saying. And next to Karask. Uh, you know, he... <laughs> the name's great. Yeah. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine how excited you'll be if he's actually good? Oh, yeah. Pitches a shutout hear, tonight. I can hear the calls already. Luke. Luke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God <laughs> almighty. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to talk NFL draft here in our mm. first segment. And I'm going to introduce everyone to a guy that I've known for a while. And, John, you're going to first meet him. And um, unbelievable, his knowledge of the, of, of the NFL draft, the knowledge of just the NFL. I worked with him for a while, and this guy was like having uh, an ESPN analyst next mm -hmm. to me, and it was great. Um, had a really, always had a great time talking football, and we're going to do that now. We want to get his uh, take on the NFL draft that's coming up since um, it's close. We got our draft show. Sure. And uh, here he is, Kyle Davis, but I'll be calling him Julio. Hey, Kyle. Julio. Hey, Kyle. What's up, guys? Yeah, not much. Not much. How you doing? I'm all right. Good. So are we. Now, let's start out right away with, um, you know what, I want to do a little kind of a mock draft with, with uh, Julio here. What do you think, John? Sure. Top 10 picks. Top 10? And then okay. we're going to talk about other stuff because he goes deeper, way deeper than that. But okay. I, I kind of want to go with it. Um, Julio, is there any chance or any way that Lawrence isn't the first pick? No. Okay. If Lawrence wasn't going to be the first pick, something would have already. About his coach reunite, Justin yeah. Fields. All right, Justin Fields with with Urban Meyer. Yeah. Right. Because they were trying to say it the other day. At, remember you were talking about yeah. that on ESPN. They were kind of giving a little, like, oh, maybe. A little feed to Justin Fields. Like, they are very high on him. Yeah. Julio, what do you think of Justin Fields? I think, me personally, second best quarterback in the draft. Yeah. Every, I, you know, every, Ohio State I, I don't, Everything that everybody knocks on, like the, the progressions is the problem, but he goes through them as well as everybody else. Yeah. You know, what about, all right, let's go. All right, so you, we, we know Lawrence is going to go number one. I think we've all in this room can't believe that anything, right, guy? You would never believe yeah. in any way anything's going to happen there. Number two is an interesting one because for me it's Fields, but for everyone else it seems to be, uh, why am I, the kid from you, um, Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson. Julio, who's going to in your who would you pick number two and who do you think they're gonna pick number two? Me number two, if I it would be Justin Field. But uh it's gonna end up being Zach Wilson. Yeah, Zach Wilson. Have you seen anything you know what? I watch a lot of college football. Zach Wilson to you, Julio, what do you what, what do you think of him? That's for Baker Mayfield. That's a good comparison. I've been hearing a lot of Trey Lance today, too, uh, on a lot of channels. So what do you think about Trey? I think Trey Lance might be the third one. I think better than uh, Wilson. Yeah. I no. see, personally, go back on the year before, like, I box immediately after the draft, for the year after. That's supposed to be top five. That's 
Wilson, and it's just a one hit one. Right. Yeah. So now this is where I think the draft starts. I really believe, well, after pick three. Pick three is San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm going to say this, and then we're going to get Julio's. And then you you guys, whenever, I know Robin's busy, and you guys are busy over there. Um, And then you can chime in whenever you want. Uh, Also, remember, if you've got any questions on the message board, feel free. uh, Send them in. Robin will be looking at them. I know John's taking Mm -hmm. a peek, too. We'll definitely read them off and, and answer them if you've got any questions for Julio. Um, the third pick is San Francisco's, and, uh, geez, I think Mac Jones would be a mistake. Um, go ahead. Go ahead, John. I've been hearing Fields going to the 49ers myself a lot in the past couple of days, too. Yeah. Julio, who's going three, and what would you get? If, who's going number three? What I would do would be but it's, it's going to be Fields. Because Fields is not going to. So it, ha- it has to be Fields. It has to be. It has to be Fields. Mm-hmm. How could it be Mac Jones? But my thing is, and I I understand we can't remember a decent, a good quarter. The last good Ohio State quarterback is none. Mike Tomzak. Mm-hmm. I mean, really, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. It's in the eighties, and the best Alabama one, unless Tua it turns this around, has Joe Namath. Joe Namath. So, all right. So if this is all the way it goes, it's kind of how we would figure. We've got uh, Lawrence one, uh, two would be Wilson, three is Fields. Now number four, maybe this is where the draft starts. Number four to Atlanta. This is interesting because of course they still have they still have Ryan the quarterback. Yep. Are they going to go with Kyle Pitts? Do they still go quarterback? I want to know what Julio thinks. Julio, what are they going to do it for? So four, like you said, is where it's, it's going to go to three quarterbacks, one, two, and three. But number four, like if you look at they blow leads, so wouldn't you think the defense would be the, the place to go? Right. Yeah. So, I mean, I, you're going to take number four. But you would have to be back right there. Yeah. The trade back would be the number one. And if you partner, you just have to go. Yeah. yeah. Maybe get a guy under uh, Matt Ryan where you could groom him for a year. Then he could take over probably... Yeah. I like what he was saying though about Atlanta. Yeah. They blew leads. Oh yeah. They 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 really probably mm. that's the least of their worries is a quarter. You know what I mean as a quarterback mm-hmm. because you got Ryan. What's Ryan? Thirty six. Thirty six. Thirty seven. Around in there. I mean, so, I mean, I understand getting one, but I, I like what he's saying though about, about that defense. Yeah. You know. I'll, yeah. I'll look for Matt Ryan's successor. Then you're wasting the Julio. If you're gonna go and draft or overall. To be the replacement of Matt Ryan two years, you might as well take Leo John. Go for people. Right. No, you're right. I now, agree. So who, I, I, we might have missed it because we do break, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. Julio. Uh, and it, on our end, sometimes we get a little broken up. But who, who did you, who's going number four? If they stay where they're at. at yeah. The, Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's what I was kind of been hearing. I, I thought he might be going seventh or eighth round in there. It's but. it's going to all be what Atlanta thinks. Does yeah. Atlanta think they need? Like I agree with Julio. If you're going to go and grab uh, whoever it is you're going to take, uh, you know, at that pick, um, he's right. Just move everyone then and just rebuild. Best best player available. You, you know, yeah. Everybody needs a tight end. So yeah. what are doing he's these a, offenses uh, now so he seems to be like i mean people are comparing him to calvin johnson mm-hmm. i mean so all right julio let's go on to a play another team that has a huge decision if they don't do anything number five cincinnati i want to hear what you think who what would they do what are they going to do so cincinnati right they just really jerseys i don't know if you guys see yeah but if you look at our quarterback he's sitting there on the team it doesn't make sense to go get another pass when Su- uh, the, uh, Oregon got it. Yeah, Sewell. Yeah, you got you got to take it to protect your future. And also, the other option would be to charge Burrow, but he's a receiver, and so is T. Higgins. They're the same receiver. That's true. Yeah, they drafted T. Higgins last but, year yeah. from LSU. If they would go receiver, Chase going there myself. That's because they. They, him and Burrow played together at LSU, so... Uh, well, that, yeah, and, and, but 
think about though. T. Higgins was at LSU too. Yeah, yeah. So, but you, but I understand. I, I see. I tend to go where Julio's going with this. Pen, uh, what's his name? P, Panay Sewell. Yes. They gotta protect. They gotta mm-hmm. protect Burrow. Can't afford to get him knocked out again. No, not at all. Yeah. So maybe you don't need the wide receiver. I, I'm I'm on board with an offensive tackle. There. Yeah. In, in Sewell, for, I, a, I, for a young team like that, for sure. I mean, he's got. They call that in Julio. I, I, they say he's got generational potential. Yeah. Is, is like Sewell's. They're talking like the the upside of him is Hall of Fame yes, type. They're talking a, a ten year right. player yeah. too. So. Right. And it, like like I said here about the prospect, I back before's draft the year before season, and he already projected top five. So I don't like to let the measurements and stuff like the. the the underwear Olympics, as people call them, right. change people's. If you look at on the field, prop, he's the best of the entire draft. He is, yeah. I, when I when agree. you think about, because this guy might be a, I mean, when you look at everyone in the draft, all of them, he's the one guy that I've heard pretty, you know, you know, guys that you'd respect talking about the draft. He's generational. Yeah, you're talking Hall of Fame, possibly. You know, oh, like yeah. like that kind of Anthony Munoz type mm-hmm. deal, Orlando Pace. Yeah, you got you, you probably got to yeah. go that way um, because Jamar Chase he is great, but like he's you know T yeah. Higgins they got enough of that they got to keep him upright. All right, let's move on to the next pick, and it's and I'm gonna forget Robin. Help me, someone help me. The number who's got the number six pick? Why am I forgetting the Dolphins? The Dolphins. <laughs> That's right. All right. So what are they gonna do? I know. What are they gonna do? Right. So me me is a trade back for me. Okay. I don't the the pick six. I don't like any of the Bama receivers that pick six. Um, so I'd probably try to get Denver to go to nine, drop down three spots. But if you stay, you would have to go pass catcher, and you'd have to go Chase or Pitts or Sewell. Right. Yeah. So like, if you look at Dolphins, would have a chance at Sewell. I'm sure they'll take him too. Quarterback, they quarterback, need, quarterback, quarterback. They need to beef up their line, so. Oh, tech. Yeah, yeah. He you he made a good point. Julio did on that, on on him really being the best player in the draft. Sewell, and you know, it, it, I agree because you're talking. Like I said, I'm going to keep saying you're talking Hall of Fame potential, and there's no quarterback yes. in this draft that you could look at and say I don't even think Trevor Lawrence. You could say that about. All right, let's move on to number seven, and that's Detroit. And they're always a mess, but maybe they're on the right they're path. New right, quarterback, yeah. Jared Goff, who I don't, can't imagine they're that excited about. Uh, quarterback for mm. Detroit? I think so. You I, think? How about Julio? What do you think? Um, I think Detroit because I don't like Matt Jones at all. Nothing about him excites me. But if you don't go Trey Lance, you have the offensive line. Right. When, when you're trying to rebuild the team, you need to build the offensive line defense. Then the way out. If you keep doing what they're doing in the past and keep going receiver, they're going to end up back in that ten years ago stat, uh, status. Yeah. No, he's right. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. That's where the Bears are at right now. I, I, I that's where they are. Yeah. You might as well start with wide at, at uh, building your line. Yeah, you got to build your line. Then you work on everything else later. I mean. Yeah, because that's where it's going to. Yeah. Yes, that's where it all off goes. This line to start with. So now, after the Lions do whatever they're going to do. It's on to Carolina um, at number eight, and what do you see for them, um, Julio? That, that's my Trey Lance. That's a perfect spot for Trey Lance. Yeah, I agree. Yes, but I hope they have Darnold. That, that, that might affect it a little bit. Yeah, Darnold there. You know, I yeah. you know you know who I really and I and I keep going back to, and they're my favorite team. But the Bears, I, I was I almost thought they were going to take a run at that. Mm. But you know they're they got Andy Dalton. It, it, I don't know why they even did that trade. Why think about it, Julio? What, that trade for Darnold. What did you think about it when you saw it? Um, it was kind of. It didn't make much sense. I mean, the whole Darnold going to a new team, maybe doing better at a new team. But it's Teddy Bridgewater. It's just he does the same yeah, thing. I was just gonna say his name. Yeah. Teddy Bridgewater could. Mm-hmm. This year, yeah, and Trey Lance would be perfect there. It's kind of like Cam Newton, yeah. like, you know. <clears throat> Teddy's probably out of there. He's going to probably be traded. I, I was hearing that today, also. I wonder where he. 
You know, pretty soon, though, the quarterback spots, I mean, the teams that need quarterbacks, right? It's got to be, it's Chicago, New England, Washington, and Denver. Denver, yeah. You know? Because they're talking trading Drew Locke. I mean, he could be gone. That's a rumor out there, too. So. Well, let's move on hmm. to Denver, who is up after Carolina. What are you hearing? What do you know? What do you think, Julio, on the Denver Broncos? That's, like I said, when my was on the mock clock, right. uh, I would Miami and went to six. And that's what I would have tried to go for for Lance. But I had him going eight because there's no trades in this. Right. But I would have Denver going up to six to get Trey Lance, or if they really like Mac Jones, Mac Jones. But if not and they stay, they're going to have to go defense. The, the two offensive linemen would already be gone. The one going last pick to uh, Carolina. And you'd have to go defense. Yeah, they got that tight. They got that linebacker from Penn State. Oh yeah. What's his name? Like, oh, Par- I mean, I'm forget Micah yeah. Parsons or something. Yeah, Mike Parsons. Parsons. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So you're you're in you, what you're saying is what should happen. Miami drops down to nine. You would have uh, Jesus Denver going up to six, and Denver's taking Lance at six. If we did this with Trey, it would go Trevor Lawrence, Will Fields. Pick four would be pick. Pick five would be the Oregon tackle. Pick mm-hmm. six would be the Denver. Okay. Right. With trades. With trades. All right. So now I believe we're at 10 with Dallas. What is Dallas? I mean, everything I saw was Patrick Sertain, but I know that Jerry Jones, I've heard him say it, how much he loves Kyle Pitts, but I don't know if it'll get there to mm. him. What do you know about Dallas? What do you think, Julio? If again, if they stay where they're at, that's Pettertain, I believe, because he's the best corner in the entire draft. But again, that's another trade-up option for Atlanta at number four. If you go up to Atlanta at number four, you guarantee yourself how fits. And like I said, when Atlanta was locked up, put them in a spot to take the best defensive player. Right now, there's going to have to be trades. Yeah, because there's just people. Teams are in positions where they just don't need what's what's there. They just don't. I mean, mm-hmm. Atlanta picking a quarterback here, if that's a that's a very Chicago Bears like move, you, you wouldn't do. You shouldn't do it. Mm-hmm. And that you know what? It's going to change that whole franchise. If they do that, they'll regret. They will regret it for the. You know what I mean? It'll be a five year, ten year. You know what I mean? Just a yeah. So, but the regrets. trade that went down today with Orlando Brown. I mean, you, you might see that within another couple of days too. Somebody making another big move like that. Yeah, that was a hell of a trade. What did you get? All right, give me your thoughts on that. As uh, John just brought it up, the, Chief, the Chiefs traded uh, their first round pick this year, thirty the thirty first pick, 31st. along with several additional picks to the Ravens in exchange for Orlando Brown. Now, Julio, your thoughts? So I think they uh, give up Orlando Brown in a second for okay. a first, next, fifth, something like that. But I mean, they get a young, true left tackle to protect Patty Mahomes. Along with Tooney that they signed from New England, and they're just rebuilding the offense with the cheaper price tag. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And you know what? They also who they lose Fisher, Fisher, they, uh, and another. Uh, there's definitely another lineman they lost. One more out that they lost. Mitchell, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember their name. They're but both they're, hurt during the Super Bowl too. So right, because there was three of them, but then one came back. Yeah, yeah. right. So. That trade was. You let me ask you this. Here's your quarterback situation of the teams that need quarterbacks but aren't in a position to really take a quarterback. I mean, Denver is kind of sort of if they go Mac Jones or whatever. Mm-hmm. You, you got Denver with Drew Locke. You got the Bears with Dalton. New England with Newton, and I think Fitzpatrick's with Washington. Washington, yeah. What do you think, Julio? Give me your thoughts on all of that. I mean, Denver. Are any of them? I mean, the Bears might have no choice. But what do you see New England doing? Do you, do you trade wise anything? What do you, What do you think that they would be up to? So depending on how the board the board falls, I think Mac Jones, if he makes it out of the top ten, would be a perfect like at the twelve thirteen range would be a perfect spot for New England to come up and get him. Yeah. Then that would be their quarterback, or or Washington could. Do the same thing. Yeah. Definitely. And, you know, that that whole thing with Mac Jones and that relationship between Belichick and Saban is pretty strong. Very strong. 
very strong. That would probably be fit. Yeah. Because he doesn't even have to. He, you know, when you watch him at Alabama, the talent is so incredible that he's throwing to. And um, in New England, I guess he wouldn't have to do that. It would probably just be five, ten yard types, yeah. you know, throws. But Kind of like what Brady did there for all them years. True. True. Um, all right, help me out with the Bears, Julio, because I'm ready to freaking, I'm ready to lose it. I, I can't take it anymore. I mean, they they just are a big mess. I don't know why the general manager hasn't been fired. And he kind of concerns me because he's got to be fighting for his job. Mm -hmm. So you can't tell me Andy Dalton is what's going to, you think is going to keep you afloat because honestly, they got to make the playoffs or he should be fired and not back in at 8-8. Eight eight. The worst thing happened was them backing in at 8-8 eight and, eight and now they're at 20. So give me something to think good about the Bears, Julio. They have Eddie Jackson. That's true. That's pretty good. <laughs> but I, they just they kind of don't have like a set direction. And then they try for like the playoffs, but then they're not good enough to make the playoffs. So they do it, and they're they're one hit wonders. They just again, I'm biased because I'm I'm a Dolphin fan, but they the way that they build their rebuilds. Where they dump players like Mika Fitzpatrick, which is good, and then you you build the trap, and you need to build outside. And then they cut Nick. Right? Who's that? Did the Bears keep Hicks? Yes, they kept Hicks. Yeah, and they got rid of Kyle Fuller. And then so oh, that's fine. So then you could build around it. Fine, and that's that's the direction you have to go. You have to build this first. I agree. That's exactly what I think. I yep. think he went down Denver, Kyle oh, Fuller. Oh, okay. Um, I see. I agree. The Bears have to just strip it down. Mm -hmm. There's no need to have Khalil Mack on the team anymore. Honestly, if you could move him, I, I don't know if anyone would want him though at that mm -hmm. price tag and, and at his production. I don't What's know. He going into his sixth year, something like that. Jeez, uh, but everything. I'll be honest. The Bears have swung and missed on everything. Robert Quinn was terrible. The, the, everything that this guy has done, other than Eddie Jackson. Mm -hmm. And Allen Robinson I like a lot. I mean, you know, uh, Jesus. I mean, they're in bad shape. Yeah. They backed into the playoffs, and I think it cost them five spots probably in this in the draft. Instead of being at 20, I think they could have been at 15 oh, or something, oh, oh, you know? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So, um, all right, I want something else to do, uh, Julio, real quick. All right, it, this is something. I, what about sleeper picks? What about, like, after the quarterbacks are done? You know, the Mac Jones thing. After Mac Jones... What do you? Is there anything you like, like down below? A quarterback wise, or any position? Quarterback. Quarterback. Um, I'm I'm a Kyle Trask fan. It all depends for him what situation he goes to. He can't he can't go to a wrong guy and then try to force it on. Him. The offense has to be there for him. He'll be fine. M uh, Mung or Mood right. from Texas A and M. He'll be all right. He could probably be better than uh, Mac Jones because the team's going to end up trying to come up and get Mac Jones. He's just going to go to a bad situation, right? And then, you, like, you got the Moons that are going to go in the second round, and Trask's going to go in the second and third round, and probably a playoff team with like a, a quarterback that's going to retire soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to hear some other ones from you now. I, I just want sleepers, and I know you're good with these. I remember when we used to talk. Give me sleepers, any position. Just let it tell me. Randall Moore, I don't know if that counts as a sleeper, but he's fallen down the draft board to maybe second round. Okay. That's a guy from Purdue. That's a wide receiver. Yeah. Um, Bateman oh, from like Minnesota. Him. He could be better than one of the Bama guys, but the Bama guys just were in a really good offense. They jumped on the draft board. Um... The safety, there's a there's a safety from Syracuse. So Carl. Oh yeah. He had a bad injury like those third, but last year he top fifteen. And then he got the linebackers, you got a guy from Ohio State, Browning. Yeah. I know him. That's, that's probably one of my favorite linebackers. What let me ask you what, what about the running backs? Anything there beyond I mean, running backs are weird now. If you notice that you don't really, they, they're like running backs used to be what wide receivers are. I feel like now, so um, like Harris from Alabama, uh, he's got to be the top one. I think he's the only one that goes in the first least. round. We might have lost Kyle. 
I think we lost him. Oh, no, there he is. There He's is. back. What do you think? Running backs. What do you got? What do you think? Other than, uh, I know Najee Harris will be a first-round pick, I guess. Najee Harris will be probably Buffalo-bound. Um, Travis Etienne, probably better than him. The thing with Harris for me is that he's already 23 years old. That's kind of a red flag in my eyes. Right. Um, then you got Williams from North Carolina. Carter from North Carolina. Hubbard. Right. And then you got the kid from Buffalo. That's true. Yeah, he ran, he ran wild. Man, he was good. You got any, what do you think? You got anything? I got uh, Jalen Waddle from Alabama, wide receiver, as a sleeper. and. Uh, well, he's going to go on the top. Yeah, and Devontae Smith. Two, two, two Bamas all. They're going to yeah. go. They're going to go high as hell. They're going to be high. They're going to be. They're going to be real high picks. And that's what he's saying. Yeah. I think Bateman from. I watched Bateman from Minnesota. Boy, that kid's good. And mm-hmm. I. And I think. He, I, I think he could be. I think he could be a hell of a steal. Yeah. You know. I. I, I love that. That pick. Um. The next question I got for you, Julio, before we have to sign off. Um. This is a team that I was kind of, I'm, I'm curious with. They're another one. There's, there's these, like, crossroads sometimes, and it's the Indianapolis Colts. Um, what do you see them doing? What do the Colts do? You know? What do you think? If it's me, what, what pick do they have? Colts, Colts. Tell me what pick. Anyone got Anyone got the draft order? Because I'm forgetting. Who do you got, Robin, for at, at number, uh, give me the Colts. 20. Number 11, I think. Uh, the Colts are... Are you sleeping over there? What's going on? No, I'm trying to share. All right. What do you got? What number? 11. All right, number 11, the Colts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Colts? And that's what she's saying, number 11. We might fill it huh. up. I don't know. <laughs> I thought that's the guy. Right. I think it's 20. They were in the playoffs. Remember they lost the Bills? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you so doing? I- that, that could be a wide receiver. <laughs> What'd she say? She said she got it from me. <laughs> You're probably I know you did. Yeah. Let me look this up, up here now. No, it's 21. Yeah, it's it. Is it 21? Before. Okay, it's 21. Yeah. All right. So that's got to be Bateman. That would be my pick is Bateman. Yeah, I love that wide receiver yeah, from yeah. Minnesota. Oh, I, I, yeah. He's, who, who's the quarterback? And Why am I forgetting what drawn a blank? Who? Wentz. Wentz. Carson Wentz. On that whole situation, what do you think of Wentz? I don't remember if you liked him or not. Um, he could be all right. It's just maybe upset. Yeah, Jalen Hurts. What do you think of him? Um, so here's my take on him. Dolphins, but two has always been better than him. Tua took a spot, and for some odd reason, the national media back to where he should be replaced at pick six. But then trying to say that. Hurts that doesn't make much sense to me. Hurts, Hurts had a couple of two good games, a pointless game, and maybe he could be all right, but I, I, the national media just keeps pushing him, and I don't understand it. Yeah, it is true. Think yeah. about it. Tua took his spot. He had to go. Uh, Jalen Hurts went to, where did he go, Oklahoma? Oklahoma. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, no, he's right. He took his spot. Well, it's like in, for, in, in uh, when you think of how the Ohio State, they had Joe Burrow, mm-hmm. and they he walked and goes to LSU because he wasn't going to start, and that was, and they were luckily got Justin Fields from Georgia. Yeah, you know, and um, I don't know. Did you hear anything about Justin Fields? Any? I heard about his epilepsy. Was there any word about him having issues as yeah, far was, as learn? I mean, what is it like? You said memory loss yeah, or something? Came out yesterday. What do you know? Anything? Have you heard any of that? So there's like a I, I got heart disease, I believe. Oh, okay. But I don't I understand that you do a medical kit to combine or whatever. But I don't understand why they're trying to bring negativity on Justin Fields' name about a, a health situation when if you look at some Mac WIs, then no one's known about that. Yeah. Right. Any other questions there for you, John? Uh, no, I'm good. You're good? For, for so, now. So, Julio, what are you going to do a draft day? What's your plan? It's like Christmas, I know. Me and, Yeah, Christmas morning for him and me normally get a hotel, and we're bringing the puppy, and then we watch it in the jacuzzi. 
No, hey, <laughs> that's great. Did you, did you hear that, Robin? No. They're gonna be watching it from a jacuzzi. Oh, that's our draft. Oh, that's a good idea. That's our draft. <laughs> We gonna do the show from a jacuzzi? <laughs> we're, not? Be, oh, we're all gonna be sitting in there. That would be disturbing. <laughs> you, you know, the, 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 they'd be the first time. They would be it. We'd be like that other place that gets ninety views. Maybe we'll no. get you on. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Kyle, Julio. I really appreciate you um, coming on with us. Will you? You'll do it again. Maybe we can recap stuff after the draft if you are up to it. Sounds like a plan. All right, man. Thank you. Take it easy. Have a good night now. All right, thank. You. Thank you, man. We will be back in a uh, few moments. We're going to take a station break. Um, I want to say something real quick though. I was just joking about other other shows having ninety views. I was just fooling around. Yeah, that's I funny. don't mean it. I'm not look. I, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't that just just screwing around. If we went into a hot tub, we'd have no views. We'd be lucky to have ninety four views. We would have zero views. Zero. We'd have negative views if it's possible. It'd we might eternal. get deplatformed. <laughs> They'd probably just take us right out. Yeah, and it'd be disturbing, and they should. So. But Robin, you all right over there now? I'm sorry. I was just I was just fooling around. Yeah, I, no, I know. I, I know it's my job. You got a headache? Are you? I, I'll let you go. You don't have to party. No, I'm, I'm just sharing away. Okay. And... All right. All right. All right. I'm just saying I didn't mean to. I know I gave you the number. I yeah. know I gave you that. I don't know what I was doing. How yeah, are you? Well, you're giving me bad information. Yeah, well, you know, it's faulty. It's Wait. all good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, geez. All right. I want to thank Kyle. That was yes. fun. And yeah. he'll be back with us. Um, and once we get our, once we get into our regular place with Gorillas Inc., because this is just a little stopgap. Yeah. But Gorilla Zinc is outstanding. You can see it. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm telling you is Kyle will be back. He was a lot of fun. John, let's talk about the Yankees. Sure. What do you? Where do you want to start? I mean, <sighs> teams going in the wrong. Or one New York team goes in one way. Another New York team's going in another. Well, I thought last night they they started to get it together a little bit. So we'll see what happens uh, today. They're water playing probably right now. Yeah. So yeah. got the Indians again. Got right? the Indians again. So. The Yankees are seven wins, eleven losses, dead last in the AL. Nineteen ninety one was the last time they started this bad. Nineteen ninety one yeah. wasn't wasn't good. That was bad times. <laughs> Usually they get get in those little hot streaks like right around end of April, early May. So we can see what happens if they get on a streak. They'll keep out of fans quiet. Yeah. Well, here's Glaber Torres. There he goes. <clears throat> now he's jogging down, and you know yeah. they're in trouble. You know they're having a hard time with offense. Uh, I know he had a good game last night. Glaber had a good yeah. game last night. But here, watch this. I mean, this is what you can't have um, when you, when you because the team's struggling. So to just do that is uh, to walk off. Yeah, here, watch, watch this. A little dribbler, and he does that. There he goes. Mm -hmm. um, that's mm -hmm. tough. I know though he had a good night last night. I don't know the numbers, but he had a really good night. He had a good night. He, he yeah. made up for it. So. What's that that kind of stuff is inexcusable, though. I mean, think about Robinson Cano and how... Oh, yeah. And he was even better than... And they, right, right. And, and the talent that he had, but the fact that they had to get rid of him because of the attitude. <coughs> I mean, it's, you know, one of the first things you learn when you start playing Little League yeah, baseball is run you it run out. the yep. ball out. I yeah. mean, and to not do that just kind of shows a lack of caring in my oh, opinion. Oh, yeah. Well, no, it's, it's a big turn off to the fans. Oh, it is. And I, and you know what? I'm going to say, um, I've always said this. Like I've said this a million times on the show. We don't know what's in their heads. Right. I'm assuming Glaber Torres doesn't give up. I'm sure he doesn't not care. Right. That's just, it just don't look good when you're in, when you're struggling, right? One of those moments, maybe. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it, see what mm -hmm. happens. 
There's a lot of time left in this season. But here's my problem, John, Robin, Wade. Here's my problem. Hitting home runs, you know, it help it, it covers a lot of stuff. It's oh, like yeah. it, it's like good goaltending covers bad defensemen and all that. Home runs cover a lot of issues, and I think this team just doesn't have the defense is is not good. They're not a good defensive team. Um, their batting average is or whatever they want to call it these yeah. days is two fifty one. It's second worst in the AL. You gotta get that up. So mediocre starting pitching. And now you know what's coming next. It happens every year, John. Mm-hmm. And you watch them just as much as I do. They are going to burn that good bullpen out. Yep. Mm-hmm. And we're going to head in. Yeah, go ahead, Ryan. They're already starting. I know. Yeah, it's already, already burned up. You know, taking guys out who, who have pitched five good innings. Why not let them pitch six or seven? Seven, exactly. And, you're you know? going to have to. I mean, because Kluber, I know, and That's and, any team and Tayan. Right they are coming back from some, you know, from some issues. But when they're going, when they're in the fifth and they're going strong, yeah, try I mean, to right. go six, yeah, yeah or you know. go seven or eight yeah. if Give you can. It. I mean, I have a bad feeling about this team. I don't. I said it last time we talked about the Yankees. I don't know what they can do because the home run just does not. We see what that does in the in the in the playoffs. If they make it there, yeah. It just doesn't work all the time. You you can't rely on the home run. No, you got a all around game. You got to work on everything, stealing bases, all that, whatever. I mean, yeah, home runs are a part of the game, yeah, but you got to score runs the other way. So, well, think about this: up the middle, middle uh, yeah, up the middle defensively, right? We know that Sanchez mm-hmm. struggles behind the plate. We know that they have no shortstop currently. Um, your center fielder is what Hicks. Hicks, yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's okay, but the defense is is really is is a, is a problem oh. for this team. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm curious if Aaron Boone, if this continues. Look, they've played 18 games, and we're going towards 162. Yeah. So well, they, we'll, we'll do like a a 20 game segment. So yeah. See how it goes. What do we got here? Hold on a minute before we. Before we go on to something else, I want to check. Well, the game just started. They started at six thirty. The Yankees, yeah. right? That's what I, I think that, and it's weird. Is no, a lot of six thirty starts. Yeah, aren't yeah, they weird when they used to be seven? Right. It was always seven o'clock. Now today, oh, they're playing at. They're in Cleveland, so it is seven o'clock. Oh, yeah. Um, Robin, did you have to say? Did I cut you off? Robin, no, I was just agreeing. Oh, okay. That they've changed a lot of their starts at home mm-hmm. to six thirty. Yeah. I wonder early. if that's traffic related in New York I, it or could something. Be. Because yeah. I don't know the reason. Into the airports or whatever. Right. What I wonder you. if on weekdays people are not being able to watch the full game if they have to work in the morning. Oh, yeah. That's, half yeah. hour is a half hour. It's it's a big, it makes a big difference. It makes a big difference. I mean, getting home and... Now, you know, here's a saying that I always remember. and I, You, you can't win a World Series in April. But you right. certainly can cause yourself trouble in making the playoffs. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's always good to get out to a fast start. April, May, going into the All Star break, you got to know where you're at, and if you're not there by then, it's goodbye season. So yeah, no, they, they, Tampa has their number. Toronto is they're really good. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, they are a good team. Yeah. Um, the Red Sox. Wow, they're, they're, they're playing. They're, they're, they're on fire right yeah. now. I mean, huh? nobody would have thought it. No. Yeah. No, because J- well, I, the thing is, man, it, you and we talked about this before. I don't ever know if they'll ever win with Stanton and Judge. I just don't know if they ever win with those two guys. I I don't. I I hope so. Obviously, we're Yankee. I'm a Yankees fan, yeah. but I but and that's why this kills me. But I'm looking at it and I just don't see it. Mm-hmm. I don't see that thing that tells me it's any different than it was before. Um, Robin? I don't think that Judge is the leader that they hoped he would be. Um, and I like Judge. And I think he could be a piece of a winning team. But I don't think he's the guy that's going to, you know, 
shake up the rest of the team and say, come on, we've got to do it this no. way. Right. And I've, as far as Stanton goes, I think it was a huge mistake to get him. Yeah. And everybody said it was a gift from Derek yeah. Jeter. Well, if that's what Derek Jeter has to give us, then, you know, yeah. next time give yeah. us coal or something. Yeah. Because yeah. Stanton, if not, he's not hitting home runs, he's not hitting. Maybe, maybe Judge will be out of here. Who knows? I mean. I want to see him. St- I, I just want him to be put in his category where he yeah. belongs, not right. not being made so much of a. You got to get better players around. Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying that's the Yankees, but you got to get. You almost got to get better players mm-hmm. around him. Absolutely. I mean, I like Ursula. That kid's good. Remember, he's I like oh, yeah. LeMayhew. Oh yeah, he's he's a professional. He's mm-hmm. he's the guy. You like, know. How about like a team like the Dodgers? How they're doing right now? Yeah. I mean, they're. They, I mean, they got it going. It's like. They're fifteen and four right now, and yeah. that's where you thought the Yankees would be right now. Mm-hmm. Well, you know they play the Padres again tonight, and I love that game. Mm-hmm. Those two teams, I watched it last night. I, I'm a big fan of the Padres right now in yeah. this this season. I, I've always liked Manny Machado, and um, you know the Yankees. Though I did not, I said it before the season started. I'm just not. I'm just not impressed with the fact that they 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 got a guy. In Stanton, who can't play outfield, mm-hmm. so he can't play a position. Um, you have Brett Gardner, who I don't have a problem with. Brett Gardner, I mean, honestly, why would I have a problem with yeah. him? He, he's one of those. He could be clutch yeah, in a playoff he, series, you know, or something. He's got not much time left either. I mean, yeah, time's winding down for Brett. So he, he, what's it's, it? it's rough when you have Stanton who can't play outfield and pretty much has to take that DH spot, and mm-hmm. then you've got Gary Sanchez, who's a horrible defensive catcher who could use to play DH some of the time. Exactly. And then, I mean, you've got guys like Luke Voigt, who is a good If DH. he ever comes back, yeah. yeah. Mike Ford I, looks all right. I kind of like right. him. I'm glad they brought him in and got rid of Bruce. Yes. You know, I, I just, that was good to me. I'm not crazy about R- Roof Ned Odor. Yeah. He's really somebody I hope, probably might as well let him back, let, send him out, you know. Trade him or something. Or just send him to the minor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just outright him because. Maybe you can get something for him. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, he just looks, he looks out of place. It's just not working. Mm-hmm. And, um, I mean, I heard. There were some rumors about the Yankees and getting Trevor Story from Colorado. Yeah. Um, here's the thing, though. Have you noticed? It isn't like it used to be. Teams aren't really willing to do things with the Yankees like it used to be. No. You know, they're not just going to be able to pillage other teams. You know, it's, uh, it's been like that for quite a long little time. bit now. Yeah. yeah. So there has to be now. They got a guy named Dominguez. Yeah. This kid's nineteen. Here we go again, though, John and, and guys. They are calling him the next Mickey Mantle, the next Derek Jeter, the next this, the next that. So by the time he comes up in a couple years, we're going to expect something. Mm-hmm. And maybe he's not. Maybe he's just good. And that's all yeah. you need sometimes. Yeah. I'll give me the next Paul O'Neill, I'll be happy. Sure. You know? Sure, why not? Oh, I'd take... yeah. Or the next Tino Martinez. Like yeah. I'm saying, just give me those. I don't need the next Mickey Mantle. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, for sure. You need more guys like Paul O'Neill who... He can hit. He's a professional hitter. Not only can hit the ball, but, I mean... Great outfielder. He cares. Yeah. But he's a great outfielder. There's never any doubt that that Paul O'Neill was into the game. He he was always a leader out there, too, and everything else. So you give me another one. Give me a bunch of Paul O'Neills. I don't need these Mickey Mantles and Derek Jeters. Oh, yeah. You know, I I love them. Don't get me wrong, but we don't... That's the thing where I think us as Yankee fans and even the Yankee organization sometimes, it's always trying to find that next one I could maybe retire their number, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. And, uh, geez, all you need, go look around. Look at the, look at Tampa making the World Series last year. Yeah. I mean, there was no... Nobody expected that. Yeah, Tampa but, Bay. But every year they're in the mix. They're always in there. Yeah, every year. And they're giving away their players. Mm-hmm. Snell is now, mm-hmm. is Snell on the Dodgers? I don't even know where Snell went. I can't even remember, but he's gone. Yeah, you know, and it's like they've been doing this for what five, ten years now, mm-hmm. basically. It's unbelievable, and the Yankees just are stuck. It reminds me, and then this is definitely, please, the Yankees are a much better organization than the Chicago Bears. But I get that feeling with them. Yeah, they're never really right now. They're not really. They 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 go by it's by reputation, oh, you yeah. know the the Yankee, not by production. So, like, for me, when is enough enough? The Red Sox did it. 
The Red Sox have stripped down several times, and then they come back and win World Series. Yeah, it's you know. like every five years. Yeah. Them. Seems, right. seems like. Well, remember that they went win a World Series, miss the playoffs, win a World yeah. Series, miss the playoffs. Every four, it's like yeah. every four years. So I'm just saying, like, so, at some point, you just got to realize, look, we're uh, we need to have a different way of doing doing business. Um, and, and I don't know, maybe it's just maybe it's just um, scouting. Mm-hmm. Maybe I mean Cashman's been there forever. Maybe it's time to move maybe on. Maybe it is time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there was a time I remember when they moved on from Bob Watson. Yeah, that was tough. You know, um, and Gene Michael. A lot of people have yeah. been calling for Cashman's head for a while, long. quite a while now. When you're the Yankees and you haven't won since 2009, that's that's kind of rough because you're not the, you know, mm-hmm. the Cubs went for it and won. If they don't win again, everyone's, it was 100 years. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it's, you got a lot of goodwill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Very, very much so. I mean, at some point, uh, Aaron Boone, I don't know. You know who I always wanted to be the coach, and he isn't, is Don Mattingly. Yeah, so yes. he's over in Miami still. Yeah. Is he right? Miami. Um, you know, so I, I don't know. I, it's oh, hard to pin it on them guys. Yeah. Like. But then let's talk about something else in New York. In New York City, you got the Yankees, and you expect so much. Yeah. I should expect a lot from the Knicks, but being the Knicks... They have struggled a lot yeah. through the years here lately. I mean, in the last, geez, the last time they made it was seven years ago to the seven playoffs. Seven years ago, they haven't been this good, and all of a sudden it's boom. Yeah, well, seven and years ago, man. It's been Julius Randle is a beast. Yeah. The, the Knicks are the hottest team in uh, the NBA right now. Yeah. Eight straight, right? Eight, Eight straight. straight. And you got uh, the Knicks, the last game, they won in overtime, 137-127 yeah. against, and it was a big game. It was a playoff game because it gave Atlanta and New York... We're f- we're battling for the fourth spot, and they're behind in that yeah. game. So it's like they're they're the talk of the town right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, look at these That's guys. Well, they should be. Yeah. Well, no, because you know what? It's and I don't know who said it the other day. It might have been LeBron, but he's right. Basketball's better when the Knicks are good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just different. There's something about it, and there's something yep. with them. You know, they haven't won what since '72, something like that. Oh right? yeah, but back in the the Patrick Ewan days. When oh, yeah. Uh, there's yeah. always the Knicks and the Bulls Bulls. going at it. Them days. Houston, yes. They got to the you finals, and, and it was always <laughs> Jordan stopped them. Detroit Pistons were always in the mix, too, right. back then. Yeah, I mean, and, and you're... I mean, it it's was... Nice it was to bring back the old rivalries. Yeah, yeah I mean, you had the Knicks... Uh, the, the most recent was with Carmelo Anthony. Yeah. And they had those... The, that team was a decent team. You had J.R. Smith. You had... Uh, who else was there? That, that Tyson Chandler. Tyson yep. Chandler, yeah. yep. It was a good team. Remember, they won, they won 60 games. The only problem is they fell yeah, apart after Christmas. I'm liking a lot on the Knicks is R.J. Barrett right now. He's he's a heck of a ball player. Thank he's God, been, too, because that was the number one pick from Duke. Yeah, he's going to be yeah. there for like five, ten years. Yeah. Well, we were talking about it on the way in. I mean, you got old Derrick Rose, but Derrick Rose, minus the injuries, yeah. was outstanding. He was incredible. Yeah, he's still a good ball player. Good. He could still handle it. So Derrick Rose would have been... One of those guys, he, there he is right there. Yeah. Um, Derek Rose was one of those guys that if he didn't get hurt, I mean, you're talking, um, you're talking a Hall of Fame type stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, That's yeah. what you're talking about, yeah. uh, Derek Rose. Or, you know, in that category of, of the greats. I'm, I'm sure he'll be in the mix for that. Yeah, he was incredible. The yeah. injuries took him away from some stuff. But now you got Emmanuel Quickly, I think his name is. Quickly. Yeah. He's the, a rookie. And he plays well in the backfield. We were talking about Reggie Bullock mm-hmm. when we were walk, coming in. A lot of speed yeah. in the backcourt yeah. there. So they're, yeah, they got Whatever a nice. Else is nice is they've got a bench that can play. Yeah, it's nice to be able to see some of these guys. You know, if they get into foul trouble, right. or a lot of guys just... could be starters on other teams, yeah. but they want to be here. Right. What yeah. has to happen next? Because unfortunately, the NBA is this way. I don't like it. I don't like this at all about the NBA, but you always have to have those stars, like as you notice. So now, the guy you have really is and and Julius Randle. Yes, and he's he's had thirty points I think in the last more than he's at forty. He's had nothing under oh, thirty man, in the last six. Like Bernard, probably to pass eight out of ten mm-hmm. games. Bernard King, mm-hmm. he reminds me of a little bit. Um, you know, though he's he's the selling point. Because next year they got to bring in free agents, you know the big the big guys. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you know they he need, needs they two. need a big man. So yeah. you need you need two major like what the Brook what Brooklyn did. Yeah, um, and we'll see if that works out. Sometimes it doesn't, 
But in the NBA, that's how and it goes. Players going to want to start coming to the Knicks because they're 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 winning now, so they're gonna they're gonna be coming here. And it's the hub. It's the thing, man. It's like you win a, if you win the title there for the Knicks, you'll be you'll be loved forever. Oh my god! And there'll be a statue mm-hmm. put put up for you because it's been so long. And and New York is a huge. I mean, think about that. The Madison Square Garden. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a disgrace that they're where they are. But I mean, they're they're they're. There's a team that need, deserves it too, the way their fans support them for years and years. And they have a horrible <clears> owner, <throat> unfortunately. James Dolan yeah. is horrible, and he's part of the reason why they can't. You know, when it's time to see if you could get uh, uh, any of those guys, you know, Kyrie Irving or uh, Irvin, yeah. or or KD and all that stuff, they're not coming to New York. Mm-hmm. They're not coming to. They'll go to Brooklyn, but they ain't, they're not coming to Manhattan. No, nope. and. Um, Part of that is because of what he did, what he did to Charles Oakley was terrible. Oh yeah, when he had him arrested and carried out and all mm-hmm. that nonsense, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. And he's got a, and no one likes him. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I'm talking I, I don't because that's what ends up happening. Julius Randle, for example, he doesn't come with K. He's not like KD, but he's a good, great, very good ball player. But it's like what's sad is the Knicks remind me of where if you can't play on the Knicks, you might be going to the D League. Yeah. That shouldn't be that way, you know? And it is. Yeah. It's all... Like, Rose comes there because it's his last chance. Like, it's that thing. It's your last shot. It's your last shot at making you know? it, yeah. That's for sure. They've had a seven-year drought of the playoffs. It looks like they're going to end that. Don't forget about another guy, Alfred Payton. I like mm-hmm. him. He's pretty good off the bench for the Knicks. Oh, yeah. He's going to be a key player in, in the playoffs. Could the Knicks make win around? Sure, right? I think they can. I think they can win too. Two, because you figure they would probably play Atlanta because mm-hmm. it would be four versus five. They could, they could be Atlanta. Again. They could be a surprise and maybe go to the oh, finals. Some, oh, you know, geez. just don't know. Well, who's the top? It would be tough because they got Milwaukee, Milwaukee with yeah. with uh, say his name, Robin Antonopka Kupo. Anamana Kupo. Giannis, we'll call him. Yeah, yeah. him. He he's there. And you have uh, Boston's still pretty good. Boston's good, yeah. Because they got that mix of three guys. You yeah, know, they're always thing. in the mix, too. And they're good and uh, very good. The Raptors have fallen away, but remember, they won a title. Mm-hmm. So it's worth it. Yeah. They won that title, and now they're going back yeah, to the... Yeah. Now, here's a good they're, guy. They're, you know, they're going to have to start over again. Here's a guy that I would want the Knicks to get, Kyle Lowry. Yeah. Because next year, I think he'll be gone from the Raptors. Be great. You bring him in there now. Um... That's what I'm looking at, guys yeah. like that, and and so the Raptors are out of the picture. Atlanta, we saw them; they were missing some guys though. Yeah, that Trey Young and all that. Now, don't get me wrong; that they're they're better than they showed, but um, huh? a lot of free agents. They want to go where to where, where who's ever winning. So the the Knicks would be a, a top team to go to next yeah. year. And I you mean, you would figure, John, with all the chances in New York City, right? Endorsements. Oh yeah, the whole deal. Um, but you know, it, it, it's the place to be. Yeah. All right. So there's our, um, the New York teams, different directions right now. Uh, Knicks are on the upswing. Tom Thibodeau, what a good coach. I, I kind of didn't like him at first. We knew him with the, with the Bulls and, um, he seems to have, and it's a young team and he seems to have a good yeah. grasp on him. Oh, you know, yeah. I think did, did Woodson's back, isn't he? Remember the old coach Woodson? Is he, he's a, he's He's actually there now as an assistant. Yeah, they brought Thibodeau. him. They brought him in. Uh, I liked him. Yeah, he was. Yeah, too. That was when they were at their last. That was the last playoff. Last team. time they were good. Yeah. yeah. So all right, now what we need to do is go to our picks. Um, let me give you the stats on those picks. Um, you know, I got them written down here somewhere. Uh, yeah. Me and John are sitting at three and three. These are our picks against the spread. We're three and three. Uh, Robin's four and two. So since you're four and two and all that, let's get your picks. All right, I've got three uh, baseball games for tonight. Um, at eight fifteen, I've got Cincinnati with Gray pitching minus one twenty over that's St. The, Louis. That's the Gray that was with the Yankees, right? Yep, Sunny Gray. Mm-hmm. Sunny Gray. Sunny Gray. Sunny Gray. Uh, over <laughs> St. Louis with Kim pitching. Okay. Uh, at seven ten, I've got Toronto with Mats at plus one forty over Tampa with Glass now. And then at eight ten tonight, I've got Houston with Granky at minus one twenty five over the Angels with Heaney. Oh, good price on Granky. Yeah, John. 
Okay, I got some money lines uh, for hockey uh, tonight. I got Buffalo finally beating Boston with the rookie in net. Plus 300, too. Yeah. That's a good so, payday. Then uh, tomorrow I got uh, St. Louis over to the Avalanche. That's That should be a great game to watch. And then come back Sunday night. Penguins over Boston again. Sorry about all you Boston fans out there. but <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully there's not many of you. Yeah, there's a couple I know of. So. Yeah, I know of some too. Now, if that, if you hit that three, if you made that a three-team parlay for twenty bucks, you're gonna win a hundred, maybe hundred and fifty. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I like that parlay because the Sabers it? might win tonight. It wouldn't surprise me. You yeah. have to make a phone call. Yeah, yeah, please. All right, here's my <laughs> picks. Um, and this is I got two base, and I got one baseball and two hockey. Uh, tonight, uh, Friday night. Cleveland plus 135 over the Yankees. I will not bet the Yankees until they show me they're good. Um, and I love getting a team against the Yankees plus 135. Mm-hmm. Uh, tonight, I like Nashville. They're minus 130, 125 at Chicago, uh, versus Chicago in the uh, NHL. Game. Yeah, And then tomorrow night, I like the Ottawa Senators plus 120 at Vancouver, which Ottawa the other night, you brought it up the one time, and you're absolutely right. They're good. Yeah, they're getting good. They're, it's always like a five-six, six-five game when they when they're playing and when they're they got a lot of young good players there. Yeah, that's that. They are good. They're going to be good. I like the, I like Kachuk. I like oh, yeah. him, and, oh, yeah. and I like Sturzy, and I like those guys are good. Man. Yeah, they, they have that tough they, guy. They got that, a good squad. That I tough mean, defenseman too. He's a big guy. I think his last name is like Smith or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Tough. They're a good team, and they got Matt, Matt Murray mm-hmm. as a net, so they'll just have to figure out. I always like Murray too. Yeah, because he ran uh, he ran uh, Flurry out of town. Yeah, he sure did. And now he now Pittsburgh has neither. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, those are our picks. We got to get after Robin because if she starts running away with it, you know, uh, not good. Any anything on there that we need to know about John <laughs> on the message board? Yeah. Is your brother coming he, into this with his? Yeah, brilliance? he already did. Yeah, <laughs> to Karask and, and the guys. Bucks. Six in a row. Oh, six, <laughs> yeah, I know what he means. Um, well, I want to remind everybody a couple things before we go. Um, next week we're going to have two shows because you got the draft. Yep. Thursday is going to be from 7.30 to 11. And we're just not going to stop. Non-stop, draft coverage, live draft coverage, the whole deal. Robin, Wade, we'll all be ready to go. Whoever else, there might be a, a cast of thousands. I don't know. We'll have a lot we of things happening. In. We've got a lot of great information compiled. Um, yeah. Really looking into all of the players, and, and I think it'll be a lot of fun to watch the draft sure. all together. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. We won't be in a jacuzzi like our friend Kyle will be no. with his dog <laughs> and everybody in there. Wife, wife. Maybe stuff. we'll have some giveaways too. You know, giveaway. Yes. Yes. giveaways. Yes, giveaways. All right. I like giveaways. Yeah. Yes, we'll have some giveaways. And then we'll be back on Friday night, back to back with our show again. And that time, that night will be the second and third round. So we aren't yep. going to do the second and third round, but we'll talk about the second and third round. We'll recap the first round, John. Right? Yeah, and it, the second and third you usually go a little faster. Too. Yeah, we will. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, I love so, that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we'll we'll have that. Um, don't forget Citizens United on Wednesdays um, at six o'clock. Also, please pay attention to Gorillas Inc. Pay attention to the Facebook page and check out everything that Gorillas Inc. can do for you. Um, they can do a lot for you um, as far as advertising, podcasts. You want to get your message out here in Niagara County right now? This is the place to be because nowhere else has this kind of views and, and, and ears. Right. So um, just pay attention. I mean, you, you can see it. So remember Gorillas Inc. Remember Goal Getters. Remember everything. We got shows coming. The the draw. You got, we're gonna have music. We're gonna have entertainment. We're gonna have all kinds of stuff. And this is a network yeah. we're building here. Mm-hmm. And uh, soon you're not gonna. My favorite is the puppets. The puppets will be They'll here be soon. soon. Yes, they're I coming. Can't okay. wait to see them. Oh, the puppets are great. I and then to see that live. Oh, you will yeah. see it live. Oh, you yeah. wait till you see them with the puppets, they're, and they're oh, talking so about the talented. news. So mm-hmm. funny too. I love that great. show. The draw is almost ready to be released. It's coming. We've been waiting for this. Yeah. Right? I mean, sure. this has been so... Hit- up we this. had some rap stuff going on the other day that was really cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we're getting that. We're getting all that... Promoting, ha- promoting. independent artists and yep. uh, people in the area and helping to look in our help out in our community. Yes. And I love it. And this pl- we're building a network which will eventually... You're not going to be able to get away from us because we'll be everywhere. It's coming. Right. You'll see us on TV. It's, yep. it's happening. All right. 
Well, let me wrap it up here after I'm done uh, promoting our Gorillas, Inc. Because we should be promoted. Look at this studio. Look at the great job we do. Look at the 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 video and everything else. He's great Top back notch. there. Top notch. State of the art. Wade has run that all to look he's, like this. He's amazing, and I can only imagine what What's happens when, next time when we when get we, into our permanent permanent studio. home. Yes. All right, guys. Um, enjoy the weekend sports. Sure. A lot of good stuff to watch. You have a UFC, too, uh, pay-per-view. Don't forget that tomorrow night. Yep, Masvidal. pay-per-view, Masvidal against Usman, right? Yeah. And then you have that one crazy fight. I can't remember their names, and I, I'm sorry, but we have an, um, a woman from China, I believe, going up against the other lady. Is she an American or is she from... I'm not positive. But American. there's a lot of anger and hate going yeah, on there. Definitely. I don't want to get into it, but it has to do with a lot of China stuff. It's interesting. Pay attention. It's going to be a good one. Um, you don't always got to... You know what, too? There's there's free links out there. Oh, yeah. Everyone remember that. You can sometimes find them. Because um, yeah. they are expensive. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know who the hell they're kidding. It's 65 bucks a, a pop, but whatever. All right. I'm going to let everyone go because I'm wasting their time. John, nice to see you again. You too, John. We'll right. see you again next week. Yep. Can't Robin, wait for next week. Wade. And we'll see you on Thursday for our big Thursday show. Night. Yep. Yep. Good night, everybody.